our final application project was called the Greek configurable dice. It was by Kavinda Singh, Govil Gupta, and Chintan Turakia. We would like to thank our mentor, Professor Yong Chen, for giving us the support and guidance wherever needed and making the funds available for this project. We would also like to thank G over TA for giving us all the technical support and time whenever needed. The basic aim of this project was to make a reconfigurable die. And the mechanism used for the development of this die was the lead screw mechanism. The various components used in this project are a free access drive, driver and controller for this drive, a computer, a socket, rubber sheet, icon nuts and bolts, step promoters, face plate, couple adhesive sheets, and some miscellaneous components like wires, wax, bolt, etc. Our aim was to generate a shape similar to what's that screen seen on the computer. This shape was generated using a complex hydraulic cylinders and a hydraulic mechanism. But what we are trying to do is we are trying to replace this costly mechanism with a lead screw mechanism which is a cheap option available right now. To achieve this, we started with a 3D model. This model has a base plate and what you see on the bottom side are the lead screws and what you see on the top are the icon nuts. The nuts and bolts are placed so close to each other to face when the principle of the using of LEDs for the displays of signs what we see in substations and on the metro buses. What you see in here is a computer connected to the motherboard. A power supply that gives the power to the motherboard which is connected by wires to the step promoters and three axis drive. That's the three axis drive. That's the Z axis of the drive. And what you see in there is the axis. This is the X axis and this one is the Y axis. That's the socket that's mounted on a e axis motor. That's the base plate which is mounted on another base just to give the good support. It has been clamped, clamped and leveled to achieve the maximum accuracy. That's the base plate. It's got the lead screw on this side and mounted on the base. side what you see is how the base plate looks like without the bolts. Basically this gives us the idea of how good or how close the nuts and bolts to each other. And that's mounted on a base to give it rigidity and support. After all the assembly started with the programming, program the 3 axis controller, what it does is it gets the rod number and bolts from the user and then based on that rod number it goes to the moves x axis and then the y axis and then it moves the z axis according to Required depth to achieve. The movement of the axis in the three axis is synchronized in such a way so as to get the maximum accuracy as possible. Lead screws used are really fine fish, about 0.7 mm, so as it can be synchronized with the e axis. We see the movement of the rod. Yeah, this is Kavinder Singh, the programmer. That's Chintan Tarakia. And this is Kovil Gupta. Now it moves to the fourth rod. It rotates. And based on the depth, 
moves the nut ahead. Here's the computer program, what you see in there. What it does is, it has the configuration of the matrix configuration so that the user just enters the desired shape he needs to achieve or the Z axis depth that he needs to achieve and the rest is taken care by the software. Real capability of software is that it keeps in mind where its last position was and then if needed we need to make suppose a convex shape from a concave shape you don't need to reprogram all stuff you just need to provide the coordinates and it does the work then after this is the shape that we achieved after all the rods were moved and then we use the rubber plate and mounted it on top of the base that we produced you can see that the rubber plate is self adhesive which sticks to the nut and doesn't even drop it if we make it vertical and then we made the side base and poured a wax into it and achieved the desired shape and that's the team in joy mode the stuff of the project was completed.